Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have a very nice prom for you all today. This one's from the 2014 Vietnam IMO training. So Evan Chen actually had this problem on his YouTube channel, which is called Be Enhance, and he solved it two different ways. So he solved it using complex numbers, and he also solved it using moving points, which is a fairly advanced technique. Uh, but as you all know, I prefer synthetic solutions on my channel. So here I'm going to show you a synthetic solution. So this problem, it's a lot trickier than it looks, I feel like. So if you'd like to try to solve it, feel free to pause the video. All right, so I'm going to go over the solution. So we have a triangle ABC with circumcircle O and orthocenter H. And E and F are on the circle such that EF is parallel to BC. Uh, D is the midpoint of HE. And the parallel through O to AF meets AB at point G. And we want to show that DG is parallel to DC. All right. So what I'm going to do, um, for now, I'm going to hide the point G. Because what I'm going to do, in a way, I'm going to let G prime be the point such that KG prime DC is cyclic. And I'm going to show G and G prime are the same point. Right. Um, that would follow because if angle GDC was 90, since angle GKC is also 90, we would know that DGKC is cyclic. All right, so I'm going to hide point G for now. And I'm going to extend EH to meet the circle at another point. Uh, so I'm going to call that L. So, okay, so EH meets the circle at L. And also, it's well known that the reflection of the orthocenter over any side lies on the circumcircle. So I'm going to let H prime be the reflection of H over AB. Um, that lies on the circumcircle. I've mentioned that on my channel many times. All right. And here's where I'm going to take advantage of the fact that we have both K is the midpoint of H prime H, and D is the midpoint of EH. And so we can use this to our advantage uh, to get that DKLC is cyclic by power of a point. So I'm going to show you here how I do that. Um, so we have HD times HL. Uh, that's the same as HE over 2 times L, HL, since D is the midpoint of HE. And HE times HL is HH prime times HC by power of a point. Um, and HH prime over 2 is HK uh, and then multiplied by HC, um, since H prime is a reflection of H over AB. And so by the converse of power of a point, this is enough to show that DKLC is cyclic. So I'm going to draw that in. And the idea here is I'm going to draw the intersection of that circle with AB. Um, I'm going to call it G prime, and I claim that G prime is G. Um, so that's what I'm going to try to show, and then from there it would follow fairly easily that DG is perpendicular to DC because uh, angle GKC is 90 degrees. All right, so where do we go from here? Um, so my idea, so we want to show that G prime and G are the same point which is the same as showing that OG prime is parallel to AF. So ultimately, I'm going to try to show that OG prime and AF both make the same angle with the line CL. So that was kind of my idea in the solution, and I kind of worked backwards from there. So there's going to be a few steps that might not appear motivated, but just so, so you know, that was kind of how I got there. I worked backwards in trying to show that OG prime and AF both make the same angle with CL, and that means that they would have to be parallel. All right, so I'm gonna label this point right here where EL intersects AB. Uh, you'll see why I do this later, I'm gonna call it M. And I'm gonna let H prime M meet the circle at another point, um, which I'm gonna call N, and you'll also see later why I do this. Um, and I claim that N, M, G prime L is cyclic. So that's what I'm going to try to prove. Uh, it's just an angle chase. So I'm going to write it out. So we have angle K, G prime L. 
uh, that's equal to angle KCL because they intercept the same arcs. And angle KCL is angle H prime CL, uh, which is equal to angle H prime NL, and that's equal to angle MNL. So we have uh, basically angle MNL is equal to angle KG prime L. So NMG prime L has to be cyclic from that um, because we're saying that angle MNL is equal to the exterior of the opposite angle. So we can draw in that circle through those four points. All right. So ultimately, I wanted to show, like I mentioned, that AF and OG prime make the same angle with CL. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend CL, and I'm going to let it meet this circle at another point. So I'm going to call that point P. I claim that P is actually the midpoint of arc LN. So that's what I'm going to show. And from there, it's going to follow that G prime O and P are collinear. Okay. So how do we show that? Um, so I'm going to write out, um, I'm going to draw in MP. And, uh, oh, I also drew in G prime L. So, so GP is the diameter because angle G prime LC is 90 degrees. Um, so I'm going to write out the details. So since angle G prime LP is uh, the same as angle G prime LC, uh, which is angle G prime KC, uh, that means that GP is a diameter of this circle that we drew because angle G prime LP is 90 degrees. Okay, so we know it's a diameter. And then after that, uh, I claim that um, MP bisects angle NML. Uh, and from there, it would follow actually that P is the midpoint of arc NPL. Uh, that's not too hard to prove actually using the fact that H prime is a reflection of H over AB. Um, because since because of that reflection, MK is the angle bisector of H prime MH. Uh, and also, since we know uh, that angle G prime MP is 90 degrees, uh, then it follows that MP has to bisect NML. Uh, so that's not hard to see. Okay, so I just wrote it out. So since angle G prime MP is 90 degrees, uh, MG prime, we also know that MG prime bisects angle H prime MH um, due to that reflection of the orthocenter. And so since um, angles H prime MH and NML add up to a full 180. If uh, G prime, angle G prime MP is 90, if MG prime bisects H prime MH, then it follows that MP has to bisect NML because half of those two angles each add up to 90. Okay, so we know that MP bisects angle NML. And if that's true, uh, then since equal angles intercept equal arcs, that means arc NP has to equal arc PL. Uh, okay, or said another way, arc NP is equal to arc LP. Um, and we also knew earlier that G prime P was a diameter. So if we know that, um, then by symmetry, it actually follows that G prime O and P are collinear. Uh, because um, GP is a diameter and P is the midpoint of arc NL. So both G and P have to lie on the perpendicular bisector of NL. And also O has to lie on the perpendicular bisector of NL uh, since NL is a chord of the other circle. So I'm gonna write this out. So G prime O and P, they're all on the perpendicular bisector of NL. Um, G and P by symmetry since um, since G prime P or, or since arc NP is equal to arc PL. So from there we get G prime and P lie on it and O has to lie on it for the reason I just mentioned because NL is a chord of the circumcircle of ABC. So G prime O and P are collinear. And now we can use uh, the trick I mentioned uh, to show that G prime O is parallel uh, to AF. So I'm going to make some room here. Um, 
basically we want to show both of those make the same angle with CL. Now we haven't used yet that EF is parallel to BC, so here's where that's going to come into play. All right, so I'm going to do a little calculation here. So the angle that AF makes with the line CL, so that's the angle between two chords of a circle. And so that's half the sum of the two intercepted arcs. I've used this a few times on my channel. So that's half of arc AL plus arc CF. And here's where we use the parallelism. So since EF is parallel to BC, arc CF is the same as arc BE. So this is the same as half of arc AL plus arc BE. And half the sum of those two arcs, that's the angle between those two chords A, B, and E, L, which is the same as angle A, M, L. Okay, so we're making some progress here. So now I'm going to do some more calculation on angle A, M, L. So angle A, M, L, it's equal to angle G prime M, L. And that's equal to angle G prime P, L, um, since G, M, G prime M P L is cyclic. And angle G P L, uh, that's the angle that G prime O makes with C L. Okay, so after all this calculation, we've showed that basically A F and G prime O, they make the same angle with the line C L. And so that means that they have to be parallel. And this basically solves the problem because if A F is parallel to G prime O, um, then by definition of G, uh, G prime has to be G, um, which is what we want exactly what we wanted to show because from there, uh, once we know G prime is equal to G, um, then basically angle GDC, it's just 180 minus angle GKC. Um, so we have angle GDC is 180 minus angle GKC, and GKC is a right angle, so that means uh, GDC is 90 degrees, which means that DG is perpendicular to DC. So this was a very fun problem that I really enjoyed. And a lot of the other solutions on the Art of Problem Solving Forum used a lot of advanced techniques. So there were some really interesting solutions using conics, um, but there were also a few other elementary solutions too. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, everyone.